What's the ideal do-it-yourself target for backyard archery? I don't know. I've tried five different types of targets over the past year, and I've learned some things that I like and don't like in a target. These are my requirements for an archery target. One, big. How big? Big enough to be hit by little kids and other first-time shooters. Two, cheap. If I'm making PVC pipe bows for a couple of dollars, I feel like I should be more clever than to spend $100 on a target. Three, arrow removability. Four, portable. You may want to put your target away when you're done shooting, or put it in your car to take over to a friend's house. Five, durable. You don't want to be making a new target every week. Straw bales are not so easy to get if you live in the city and you don't have a truck. When I made my first PVC pipe bow, my first target was a straw bale. Straw bales make a pretty good target when they're dry, but over time they get wet and fall apart and make a big mess. My first serious attempt at a target was made from 4 by 8 foot styrofoam insulation board 2 inches thick. I cut three circles out of it, covered each circle with a layer of Tyvek, and spray glued them all together. Finally, I painted it with colorful Olympic style circles. The result was gorgeous. We used it every day and shared the fun with neighbors and friends, but after a couple of months it was so beat up that arrows were flying right through it. For my next target, I used two inch pink insulation board. This time I just scored it with a box cutter and snapped it in half. Again, I covered each layer with Tyvek, glued them together, and bound the edges with duct tape. This target wore out even more quickly than the styrofoam target. So I took it apart and cut one of the layers into four pieces to make a smaller target. Meanwhile, I worked on my next brilliant idea. On the internet, I found the idea of stacking strips of carpet into a square frame. So I thought, why not roll strips of carpet into a round target? The resulting target is heavy, small, ugly, and one out of five arrows bounce off it. I had expected the rolled carpet technique to produce the ultimate do-it-yourself archery target, 
And when it turned out so bad, I was really disappointed. I really wanted a clever target to share with you on this video. Spring was coming and I was so desperate to come up with an idea that I went up into my attic where my wife, Aggie, keeps a stash of cardboard boxes to see if I could find something to use as a temporary target. What do you know? I found a three by four foot box just right for a traditional Korean style archery target like I'd seen on the internet. Wow, it looks great, it sounds great, arrows pull out super easy, and it was free. And if and when I happen to leave it out in the rain, it may be ruined. For sure, if I shoot arrows at it, it will be ruined eventually. But guess what? That's what targets are for. Never thought about being that big thing. Didn't want to do what it takes to get that far. If it was gonna happen, would have happened by now. You was missing part. Could write a country song, good as any. 